was kind of a late bloomer. I mean, I remember my parents putting me in a costume when I was three years old in Thailand. That was like my first recollection of like my first show, but I didn't actually do anything. It was just for show. Um, my first performance um, up on the sway pole, I was about 17, was like the more of the thrill show part of it. I did stuff like water skiing and uh, hula hooping and stuff on the ground and like not so high when I was around 12 years old, but it took me a bit to get comfortable that high up in the air. Every day is a different day. I don't take it for granted. I don't, I try not to get too comfortable. I kind of treat it like it's my first time every time because I, I believe if you get too comfortable, that's when things go wrong. So I'm, I'm not terrified up there, but I still like to have a bit of fear. We sometimes do have a few mistakes that we're not, you know, it's not part of our plan or anything, but to the audience, they never notice. Yeah, they so it's part of the show. It's part of the show, but it always plays in our head, and then the next show you, got, you do, you've always got that going through your mind and about yeah, what's going to happen, but the adrenaline kicks in, and when the crowd cheers, it's all... You get dizzy. Sometimes you black out. All the G-force is blood, taking all the blood out of your brain, so it all get lightheaded once in a while. It gets hot in there, no ventilation. You just gotta stay really focused, and if you go off track one little bit, it can, yeah, it can be tragic. Please come visit us. We really enjoy performing, and we'd love to see people come on out, come say hi to us. After the shows, we're hanging out. If you guys would like to learn more about us, we are on Facebook, Instagram, all that, nervelessknocks.com. Come on out, we're having a great time in Canada and we're almost done here, we have one more stop, so hurry up and come see us before we leave.